Hello, this is Raquel with Balloon Art Clip Art. I've been asked for instructions on how to create the patterns in the four balloon garland arches and columns that I have featured in the clip art available on Etsy. So here it is. If you're using Publisher, it's super easy. Um, I have 12 different balloon arches and columns with different patterns shown. And the colors here don't look particularly attractive, but I want to show you just this coolest thing I've discovered. There are, under page design, there are different color schemes that are preloaded into Publisher. And by simply clicking on them, the colors change. So the odds are there probably isn't one here that has all the right colors that you want. So you can go ahead and create one. And to do that, you're going to come down here clicking on that little button and you're going to call it create new color scheme and we're going to go ahead and call this uh, a sample I start all my custom ones with a so that it shows up at the top of the list so let's say um, all my line colors are the main color so I tend to leave that black but let's say you wanted to make that uh, maybe just a dark gray instead of black and let's do an accent color. Let's do shades of blue. So let's go ahead and do like a, a standard blue and what's close to a robin's egg? Maybe, I don't know. Let's pretend that's robin's egg right there. And let's pick something lighter. If you happen to know what the RGB color is or the CMYK colors are, you can actually just plug them in right there and that color will pop up. So let's go ahead and pick kind of a pale light blue color maybe where is it right about there okay we'll just pretend that's a lighter blue and maybe for an accent let's go hmm let's let's do a yellow as our accent color and there it is so that changes all of the instructionals I have right down to how to build the patterns. 12 different arches and columns, just like that. That easy. So let's say you get a customer and their colors are different. You can just right click and click on edit scheme. And let's say their colors were red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. We can do that, and you're going to notice that there's still some yellow in there. So that's where you're going to have to tinker this with, tinker with it a little bit, and decide how you want the colors broken up. Like there, I went with a, a blue dominant, or you can maybe do this one blue, and maybe this one white. See, it just completely changes it just like that. It is just the slickest, slickest thing. So it'll make doing your quotes much quicker. So if you're wondering, how did I do that? Let me start with uh, something from scratch here. I have my quick link arch here. And normally when we color them in, we're holding, you know, for example, I might hold my shift key down and select a few balloons. And then I go up here to my fill tool. And if I don't see a color I want, I might click one down here, or I might go into more fill colors and start picking colors here. Well, if you do that, selecting colors there, and let me go ahead and select these other colors. And let's say the second color you wanted was within the color scheme colors. When you go to pick a different color scheme, the only ones that are going to change automatically are the ones that are selected up here in the scheme colors. You can also pick the tints and shades of the scheme colors and it will also automatically change. So you want to make sure when you're first creating your template not to be too concerned with exactly what colors you're being that you're selecting, but rather which balloons you're selecting the colors. Or, if that was totally confusing to you, we can go ahead and just change them all back to white and you can go ahead and select your color scheme first. Let's do, I don't know, lime and yellow and orange and pink. Just for purposes of example here. 
And then you can go in and select which balloons you want to color in. And there's the colors that you picked. So we'll go with the lime and then every other balloon. Let's go with a pink, which was this one over here. Um, and you can even go in and change these to uh, what I like to do is I like to even select my white balloons. Uh, that way, no matter what color scheme I pick, uh, they will either stay white or I can go ahead and change them. And typically how I've been keeping it organized is this color down here at the end, I always leave it white. So should one day you have a color scheme where you're needing to use all of these colors, all you have to do is come in and change that, and those just changed over. Oh, these changed automatically down here too. That's interesting. I just learned something new. That's what's so fun about doing these videos is that even while I am talking to you about that, um, I'm learning new things. So there we go. Okay, another way that you can select a lot of colors quickly, of course, is to ungroup them and then you can drag and click if you want to batch select balloons like that. And then you can regroup it. That. And if you want to lock the perspective so that you can't distort them like that, then uh, that is up here in Drawing Tools in size, there's this little box right here called lock aspect ratio. So you can do it that way and then that will size it and keep the ratio or the keyboard shortcut, at least on my PC, is to hold the shift key down. I'm sure on a Macintosh it's different. So anyway, that is a really cool tool and I'm hoping that you are able to use that tool and recolor a whole bunch of arches and columns quickly for your client to pick different patterns from and if you also need help in how to lay the patterns out there you go you can go ahead and just select the colors and do up the patterns so I'm always open to feedback if you have any let me know do like my group on Facebook balloon art clip art uh, you can join that group and have discussions in there about how to use the clip art and whatnot and uh, do make your comments because I do read them and create new clip art based on what you all want. So this is Raquel with Balloon Art Clip Art.